What are you doing? Putting my sodas away. Putting your what? My sodas away. Your sodas away? Why are you drinking soda? Diet Coke? Because I want to. It's not good for you. Oh, please. Don't be one of those. God forbid you one of those. You don't do it so it's bad for everybody. <laughs> That's a nice car. That's right. Kind of yeah, those that. are the worst. Those are the hypocrites. So you're calling me a hypocrite. You're one of those. You don't do it, so nobody else should do it. So pretty much you're saying I'm a jerk and I should kill myself. No, that's you. That's that's on you. You're putting that shit in your mouth. Not me. But you gave me the you gave me the uh, ammunition for it. Come on, your brain matter is bigger than that. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, true. No, it's not. Oh, man, it's windy out. I feel uh, I, I feel the truck windy. shake. And shake. I that what are you gonna make me for? Is this breakfast since we just woke up? Of course it is. I'm drinking coffee. I ain't making that. Why not? Because I'm enjoying my coffee. To, just like a, we're at home, pretend that you know. I get up in the morning. I don't go from bed to the kitchen just for you. You never went to the kitchen for anybody. <laughs> No, there's day, there's weekends that I'd make breakfast, but no, Name you're right. one. Who made breakfast more, me or you? Well, you did because you like to cook in the mornings. Plus, you you always ate breakfast. I rarely ever ate breakfast. Right. So if you don't eat breakfast, screw everybody <laughs> else. Screw everybody else. Well, I think you and Hannah were of age, especially when we all worked. Do you really call what you did work? Yeah. Sitting on your ass all day. Yep, I got the gray hair to prove it. 18 years worth. So you're trying to tell me the gray hair came from you working. Mm-hmm. Not because you're old as dirt. <laughs> I guess that would be too, because you've got gray hair. No, it's not blonde. It's blonde. I don't blonde my hair. ass. That is not blonde. Please. Huff and puff trucking. Hey, that's like puff and stuff. No, that's huff and puff and gonna blow your house down. I'm freaking hungry. Make something. I don't know how. You know, there was a time I would have believed that when I used to feed you a whole bag of french fries and ten pork chops, but not anymore. <laughs> I can get you food and make you food when you're driving. <clears throat> hand feed you <laughs> stick it up your nose and in your butt <laughs> well you know how it is if you put it up your I butt it comes out your mouth <laughs> I don't eat and drive no uh -uh. you've got but me, I do you've got me sodas or yeah. not not even sodas I don't even drink soda you got me water my flavored water mm -hmm. and some chicharronis maybe some sunflower seeds mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. Aren't you spectacular? Well, we don't eat the same foods. No, I eat good food. And both of us back there trying to cook at one time. <laughs> I got to make my hamburger meat. I was thinking about that this morning. Is it in the freezer? Yeah. Uh -huh. I got to figure. I broke a nail. Oh. I chewed one off. <laughs> chewed one off? I got nail clippers. Yeah, but it was just as easy to chew one off. I just take one little cut and then rip it off. Oh, man. Oh, I got an email that my marriage certificate is supposed to be delivered today before evening or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you were going to tell me about this when? I just got it. Which was just this second. No, well, I was in the bathroom. Yeah, well, you were in there, and we've been around for like 20 but, minutes. But it has it requires a signature. So um, no one gets home until 4.30. Tomorrow, Margie works half a day. So we'll see if it can be re-delivered tomorrow after 1.30. Otherwise, we have to pick it up at the hub. How long will they keep it at the hub? 
Or can your brother pick it up at the hub? Oh, of sure. course not. He needs it's, it's a marriage license. Well, they called it at the hub? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I got to call them and, you know, I don't know. Well, wait a minute. Do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If they can't go to the hub and sign for it, what makes you think they can sign for it at their house? No, we have to go. Me. Oh, no, they can sign for it at the house, but I don't know if he can pick it up. So, because it's, that's oh, yeah, the address I put. You, right. Yeah, I put that address. But will they the keep delivery. it at the hub? Yeah. They've kept it at the hub before when we have to get some. Yeah, for a couple of days, they sent the thing that last time for the tax stuff. We got lucky because it said we'll have it for that three was days USPS. before. We, that was at uh, UPS. You can call and make sure because we yeah. drive all the way to Texas and they sent it back. No, I'll call them and make sure. So should we let John know we need to start heading to Texas? Let me call UPS and talk to them because they're going to try to deliver it today. And I don't know if UPS, if you can give them, oh, after 1.30. That, Why didn't we have it out. sent to uh, the terminal? The terminal could have signed for it. This must be our home address it gets sent to. <laughs> You're not allowed to send it to another address. How did the marriage people know where we live? I don't know. So are you going to say? I you mean, I up? can put I can put on there. There's a thing in the email that says if you want it sent to a different address or a neighbor, I can send it to Springfield. <sighs> you can, yeah. I don't think you can do that after it's already been sent out. There's a thing in there. Why would they have sent it if they oh. couldn't? There are alternative mailing options. They wouldn't have said, hey, you can have it mailed here, but we're lying. <clears throat> So what is the plan? How are we going to get that? This is what I want to know. How are we going to get this paper? You're the mastermind. You're the one that drives. Where's no. How is it going to get mailed somewhere? Just tell me where to go and I can get us there. Well, i got to make sure I can get it. Not today, Satan. Anybody ever try one of these? Zero sugar, zero carbs. Live healthy, live active. Zero sugar per can, zero calories per can, zero artificial colors, zero chemical preservatives. So does that mean it's probably rotten in there? Essential aminos, BCAAs, electrolytes, zero sugar, natural caffeine. Ooh, adrenaline shock, smart energy. Frozen ice flavor. They had a fruit punch too, and it had zero sugar, zero anything. 300 milligrams of natural caffeine. Not recommended for use by individuals under 18 years of age. Too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleeplessness, and occasionally rapid heart rate. A shock is a modern fitness enhanced energy drink designed for your active lifestyle. <laughs> I'm still very active. active. Our natural smart energy blend is the guilt free boost you need to help maximize your day. Not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, dietary fiber. Total sugars, added sugars, vitamin D's, or calcium. So it doesn't have, it's not a good source for that. Um, vitamin B, 50, 9.9 milligrams. Mm, protein, zero sugar, zero carb, zero sodium, total fat, zero. I don't know. Let's crack it open and see. Let's get the coronavirus off of it first. Now that I'm freaking touched it. <clears throat> Bottoms up. I 
that's different. Okay, you can change your delivery after delivery attempt has been made. Please track again using the info notice number, which can be found on the barcode on the notice you received. So I'll have to wait until they try to deliver it and then get the notice. I'd rather have them just get it there than now have another chance of losing it in the mail. Well, I would like it too, but I can't say, please stay home all day. I'm not telling you to stay home all day. Can't they sign the, you know, when they put the thing, can't they just put a signature on it? Maybe. Yeah. I also told Chris maybe they can deliver it to Ryan's house because Katie's home all day. Oh, shit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That would be the better option, I think. Well, I got this one because they were having a pilot was having a buy one, get one free, any beverage out of the cooler. It's 04 Fruit Punch. This here, I was expecting for it to taste like a white uh, uh, rock star. It's, it's Frozen Ice is the name of it. It almost tastes like there's some kind of a fruit taste to it. Like melon almost. Anyways, I'm going to make myself something to eat. Boink. Well, I got bacon cooking. I got eggs getting ready to go into the microwave. Yeah, Timothy, microwave. Sorry, dude. But, and uh, making a sausage and cheese omelet with some bacon. And that's the last of the bacon on the truck. It's the last of the sausage on the truck. It's the last of the eggs on the truck. So I've got a, some wieners left, some hot dogs, and uh, a bunch of hamburger meat, five pound or three pound <coughs> thing of hamburger meat I gotta cook up with some uh, mushrooms put it in bags. Oh, I also got two little bags of chicken where I bought a big chicken from Walmart and shredded it all up and put it in bags. That's more for a lunch deal. Although this is... I didn't eat last night, did I? What did we didn't eat last night, did we? What was the last time we ate? Who are you talking to, fool? Chris. Oh. That's a bunch of boats. Uh, we are on uh, US 30. I went ahead and uh, jumped down to US 30 instead of I 80 to save in tolls. I'm trying, I'm trying this out, see how it works out. Um, I don't like paying tolls, man. That's just all there is to it. Is that a rogue blonde hair right here? Or is it a booger? It's a rogue gray hair. Blonde hair? Gray. You're a colorblind woman. <laughs> These pants are gray. We match. Unless you were wearing a red shirt. Yeah, watch her. <laughs> gray. Oh, bacon's done. I bought this bacon. It comes in this bag with, I don't know, some kind of a paper towel in there, but it's for the microwave, and it really cooks up nice. Um, I don't really care for the flavor of the bacon, though, so I won't be buying it, buying it again, but it's a really neat concept because, look, there's no oil in this bag, really. I guess this is, like, must be really absorbent or something. Um, it's kind of thick. But I was thinking, well, damn, man, I can just take some plastic and a couple paper towels and jam a couple pieces of bacon in there. What I think I might try to do this next time is uh, buy the already cooked bacon that you just reheat. Um, this was really expensive. It was for 
four cams in a package and there was four packages in there it was uh, ten dollars so it was too expensive um, two four six eight yeah that's that was you can buy already cooked bacon at prime for 50 cents a slice so it's cheaper to buy you can buy it at prime cooked throw it in the some in the freezer some in the refrigerator and then just warm it up but um, I'll have to see what I'm gonna try the already cooked bacon that stuff I think is kind of expensive because I think it's like two or three bucks and there's only X amount of pieces. We'll see. My eggs need to be turned. Okay. And here's breakfast. A couple of sausage patties, a couple of pieces of bacon, some eggs with cheese and chili paste on it. My jalapenos weren't good so I couldn't chop those up and put them in it. They're a little soft now. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. We're going to eat some breakfast and get on the road here shortly. See if we can't get uh, our marriage license and get her driving. Like, comment, subscribe. And ring the bell. Love it. <laughs>